ICD Austria is first and foremost an institution for basic research. And as with all blue sky research, it's impossible to say what the commercial results of our work will be. But if we continue to hire world-class scientists, as all international role models show, commercially viable results will emerge. Our commitment to ISD Austria should be understood as a contribution to increasing the dynamic of Austria as a research location, to strengthen its international positioning and support the country along the way to becoming an innovation leader. We need excellent basic research because even though it contains the highest risk, it also offers enormous leverage. So this combination of university, let's say, I, I don't want to say old industry, but lead industries, big industries, and small startups, I think this is a, a key to success. What we can learn uh, from international best practices and what we are steadily trying to improve. When you're trying to create a thriving innovation region, it's not enough to have companies and entrepreneurs and good research and money. You also need expertise, and a big piece of that expertise comes from multinational companies that locate in your region or in your country, and they help train people, they help bring in the knowledge, they help gain access to markets, they are very, very important. In order to get actually the results out of the university to startups and spin-out companies, it doesn't help if you have very good technology to put on the table if there is no one to pick it up and run with it. When you think in terms of what the, the product of a scientific institution is, it's very much similar actually to what VC I think is interested in. It is, it is ideas, like big ideas, particularly in a basic research setting, um, and talented people. And these are the two products that IST and every research institute I think has. The main message must be that we invest in people. And if this one idea does, doesn't work, that's not a big deal. The culture in our educational system, talking about failure, uh, focusing on strengths or on weaknesses, that's what we are discussing since years and since decades, which has, has to be changed quickly. You need a team that complements each other and that where people can focus on their strengths and not on their weaknesses. And, and that means exactly that the, the engineer, the scientist can really focus on what is good or she is good at and there is a complementary person who has experience and talent and enthusiasm and salesmanship to drive this globally with a big vision. Sure that not every young person fits into industrial world, into a startup world or into academia world. Uh, the best thing to do is to, that they know more about these three worlds and then can decide. I think we're on the, on the right track here and we're doing this via three things. First of all, we uh, do it via the approach to tech transfer. Second uh, thing that we're doing here is the IST park. And the third and most important thing I think is uh, the fostering of an entrepreneurial attitude and here I think a lot has been done.